going on everyone? Welcome to another Two Muscle video. I am in uh, Athens, Greece. Nice little Hephaestus temple up there and this is like the Argos. Um, so I just thought I'd make a quick video today uh, talking about bus busking tips. So first busking tip I would recommend is play to the crowd and know which one know what tune that people like. For me, Spongebob is always Spongebob. Uh, concerning Hobbits, those are always pretty like popular tunes and they'll get you a lot of uh, a lot of coin. You see like a group of kids walking or teenagers or people roughly my age and then you play Spongebob, like, doesn't matter what language, they will like be like, oh my god that's Spongebob! <laughs> and also what I like to do is I like to do a little bit of recon uh, just kind of if you're in a new city kind of walk around see if there is any busking and people playing music and just be like okay this is a location for busking and then when you start playing busking as far as like paperwork or permits from like the police or whatever it's like in my opinion it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission so they show up like oh you can't play music paper uh, uh, permits and it's like oh sorry I didn't know <laughs> you can play the dumb tourist Another thing I like to do when I get valuable coins like one euro, two euro or like you know dollar bills and stuff like that, I like to uh, put them in like my pocket so if someone steals my uh, busking hat and I won't feel too bad about it or I got all the valuable stuff on me personally. Another reason why I like to put the coins and all the valuable stuff in my pocket is because you know if, you, if it looks like you don't have that many coins in your hat people are more likely to be like oh okay I'll give them something but if you have a lot people are like oh he has enough. <laughs> That's just what I think. And so for the most part you will get a lot of coins and then so like okay how do I convert this into cash. So what I like to do is I like to go to the local coffee shops or, uh, or uh, hostels or whatever and just ask hey do you guys need uh, coins and most of the time they say yes so you can trade them like 10 euros, 20 euros in coins and then they'll give you cash. I also like to find a place that makes the tin whistle a little bit louder so if you can find like a street that's surrounded by buildings and a lot of tourists are going through that's usually pretty good it makes your tin whistle a little bit louder. If it's an open space, that's also good, but uh, you might be lost in like, the, the sound might be lost in the crowd and the street and that sort of thing. Another busking tip is to have like a, uh, have like a list of like 10 tunes that you know really, really well, that kind of panders to everyone. And uh, yeah, that'll just be your busking list because honestly you only need to know a few songs and just repeat because people are passing by. That's another thing, I would pick a spot where people are constantly passing, not where people are like, like at a restaurant. Like if you if you pick a spot where that's like where people are staying and just sitting down, like your repetitive tunes might get a little bit annoying. So I don't know. I try not to be an annoying busker. So just find a spot where people are just walking by, and then you'll get fresh ears every single time you you uh, replay your tunes. So those are my busking tips, you guys. If you are brand new to my channel and you never want to miss an awesome tin whistle lesson using tin whistle tabs, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell to never miss a lesson. If you guys like this video and you want more videos like this, comment below. Let me know. And as always, everyone, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here. Cheers!